Welcome to another pattern review. What is going on today guys? We are actually doing some pattern testing today. So I got a request a little while ago that they wanted me to do a pattern test um, to show the difference between improved cylinder choke, modified choke, and full choke. So I got my A5 out here, uh, the Browning. And I got it's three factory chokes that it came with. This is the Wicked Wing Edition, so it does come with the, um, the chokes that extrude up past the end of the barrel a little bit, the goose band chokes. Um, but this here, that's the uh, improved cylinder, and then the modified and the lead full. So we're going to be starting off with the improved cylinder. But before I shoot, I just wanted to show you the ammo I'm running. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's like $10 a box right now. But... Uh, uh, it's 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch shell, um, number or sorry, one ounce of shot, and number seven and a half shot. It is supposedly coming out the barrel at 1,235 feet per second. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna give that stuff a shot. Uh, I'm gonna hook up the targets here onto the box. Nothing too fancy here either. Just a uh, cardboard box with um, my little targets I made here so these are eight inch circles um, give or take a little bit it's pretty accurate though I measured it out I'm just not the best drawer the best artist so um, but yeah I got the eight inch circles here and what I'm gonna do is shoot the target and uh, I'm gonna do a pellet count of how many are inside of the uh, eight inch circle and we can, that way they will be able to tell the difference between all three chokes so let me get these uh let me get this target hooked up to the cardboard box um we're gonna be shooting at 25 yards so i'm just gonna have to measure that off real quick and i will get back to you when we're about to shoot all right guys i don't know if you can see the target but it's like right there it's good to go a quick away um <clears throat> got the sport load here and uh i'm gonna load one in the chamber There we go, ready to go. So we're, here we go. Improved cylinder choke, um, 25 yards, two and three quarter inch shell, seven and a half shot. That looked like it thumped it pretty darn good. Let's go check that target out. <clears throat> so open cylinder, um, in my opinion, it's good for, or not, sorry, not open cylinder. Improved cylinder, in my opinion, it's good for like target shooting. Um, you can, I mean, over like decoys for goose hunting, maybe if you're shooting close. I like modified, but that's a pretty good uh, pattern right there. Completely covered the paper. Um, it looks like most of my patterns on this side with that particular shell. With the Rios, it's more centered, but. It's pretty through a pretty good pattern actually <clears throat> let's take it back to the truck and do a pellet count all right guys so what we did right now we just counted up the pellets so inside of an eight inch circle we have 51 pellets inside of the eight inch circle and on the outside we have 121 pellets on the outside of the eight inch circle um giving it a grand total of <clears throat> 172 pellets total um this paper is about I don't know, maybe 16 by 16 by 12 or so. Um, so we'll see how it compares. That's a pretty. That's a throw. Is a pretty good pattern at 25 yards. Honestly, you could kill a turkey with that. You could kill pretty much anything with that. Really, um, that's pretty impressive. So now we're gonna change it up to the modified choke. Um, take another 25 yard shot, and we'll compare. We'll compare all three of them at the end, but we'll do a pellet count and stuff right now. All right, guys, so I got the modified choke put in now, loading up a shell. Here we go. I don't know if you should be able to still see the target right about there. 25-yard shot with the modified choke. So check that out. I might have been about an inch low off of the bullseye. We'll see. All right, let me count these up for you guys, and... Uh, back to you but that's what the pattern looks like nice even really it should have been tighter 
um, if anything. But let me see. All right, guys, so I just crunched the numbers on this and on the modified choke, which is actually, it says it's half modified for lead. So I don't know how close it is to an improved cylinder or not. But uh, anyways, 51 pellets inside and only 115 on the outside. That to me does not make sense. So I'm actually going to reshoot this modified one more time and give you the new data because it should be, there should be more pellets on, on the paper than the uh, improved cylinder. So let me shoot this again and uh, I'm gonna drop a new target and let me shoot a new target and uh, I'll give you the new numbers. All right guys, here's modified 25 yards, take two. All right, all right. Take two. Take two. Make sure we're recording here, we are. All right, guys, let's see what this did. That looks a heck of a lot, maybe a heck of a lot better. I don't know. I don't know. It looks a little better. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. All right, guys, so I crunched the numbers on the modified choke. We got 66 pellets inside and 148 pellets outside. That is pretty good that's why i use a modified for um goose hunting and duck hunting because when you're leading a duck and you shoot the pattern is a little bit wider than a full choke but a little bit smaller than a improved cylinder so it gives it a better dent pat uh what do they call it pellet density over a bigger amount of area so that way there you're more likely to hit fatally hit and kill the duck or goose so next up is full choke i gotta retape the targets and get it back out to 25 yards all right guys <clears throat> it's time for the full choke um same shell uh full choke 25 yards Boy, I can just tell. I feel like that thumped it pretty hard. Let's take a look. I was pretty good and solid on that one. That's why I had to reshoot the modified. I definitely knew that when I pulled that trigger, I was a little bit below the... Uh... Honestly, that one might have been a touch high, but we'll see what we get. But yeah, on the modified choke, that's why I reshot, because I knew I was a little bit below the uh, bullseye. That felt pretty good, though. A lot more, it looks like a lot more pellet density inside the 8-inch circle, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you can, just, you can just see that. I mean, you can see there's the modified, and then here's the full. <laughs> like, you, there's a big difference there. Holy cow. All right, guys. So, beyond impressed with the full choke pattern we from switching to a half modified I, i'm sorry i didn't mention this before i did i think but this is, is a browning's half modified choke for lead um so i just changed that it's a half a modified so full modified would be like a, a mod, regular modified would be a little bit tighter than this you probably have upwards of maybe 80 pellets in the eight inch circle <clears throat> but let's get back to the full choke here Look at that, 126 pellets inside of the 8 inch circle at 25 yards and 135 pellets outside of the 8 inch circle. See now this is why people use these chokes for turkey hunting and because when you get up to like 50 yards, 40, 50 yards with a turkey and you shoot, this pattern will be a little bit wider but the full choke will keep it you know, it'll keep it condensed enough to where you'll stuff a fatal hit with a full choke at 50 yards. Now, I killed my turkeys. If you, I don't know if you've watched the video already or not, but the video is in my... I just barely uploaded it last week 
but you should check it out if you want. This I hunted um, those two turkeys with a full choke, and it did its job very well. But yeah, let me take this off the uh, cardboard, and we'll compare. All right, guys. So this is what we got here: improved cylinder. There is a total of 172 pellets on this piece of paper. 51 pellets are on the inside. Modified, there's 66 pellets inside the 8-inch circle, 148 pellets on the outside, bringing that to a total of 200 and, do the math here, 214, I believe. Yes, 214 pellets on the paper. On the full choke, on this piece of paper, we have 126 pellets on the inside of the 8-inch circle and 135 on the outside, bringing that to a total of 250, 261 pellets on the piece of paper. So you can see the, the difference. And if I was to make a recommendation, it would be that the improved cylinder would be for like... <clears throat> Uh, if you're a beginner and you're trying to shoot skeet or shoot running, um, running or flying animals or birds at closer ranges, this would be the choke for you because it does throw a wider pattern overall. And on this choke, on this pattern here, I did pull, I think most of my pattern pulled this way a little bit to the right hand side. But still, you can see that broadcast of pattern right there, and it, it threw a pretty good one. This is for, like, this is this is what I prefer um, for squirrels, partridge, duck, geese, pretty much anything. Shooting skeet, I, I love the modified, or the half-modified choke, I should say, but modified is going to be just a hair bit tighter than this. That's a pretty nice pattern, nice even spread on it. You can see there's not really many holes in the pattern there's a few little holes but that's a good pattern right there and i would use that like i said for ducks geese partridge squirrels that is what i that's my go-to choke for turkeys on the other hand uh, a, lot of, a lot of people use this for waterfowl too i used to as well but i'm telling you that the modified choke is better for ducks and geese waterfowl um but a lot of people do use this and if you're an extremely good shot with uh, leading birds and stuff more power to you use a full choke. I'm not that good yet. I can hit them perfectly fine with the modified, but um, This is what I use for turkey because turkeys are not quick moving at all I mean they do move them, you know, they bob their heads quick, but they don't have enough Reaction time and they're not flying extremely fast when you're shooting them. There's basically usually just standing there That's why a lot of the people use turkey um, turkey chokes and full chokes but that's a great pattern right there. And like I said, I explained what I think each one should be used for. Let me know what you use down in the comments though, because I would, I'd like to know. You know, I always like insight on my videos and um, all your guys' opinions as well. They all matter to me quite a, quite a bit. But yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, I think this is a good demonstration on the pattern types and uh, what I like, I gave, I, you know, I said examples of what I like to use them. An improved cylinder, I really don't use barely ever, I don't think. I really never use it. Um, mainly the modified. Maybe if I had just shot skeet strictly, I'd use the improved cylinder choke, but it's pretty much it. Other than that, it's always the modified for waterfowl, partridge, squirrels, and full choke for turkeys. And, uh, you know farther range shooting but go ahead and please like this video let me know down in the comments i want to know what you guys want to see because it, it gives me ideas and i and i'm not just putting videos out there that you don't want to watch i want to be able to put out content for you guys that is interesting to you um if you like this kind of videos just go ahead and leave a comment and i can do more gun videos um i love shooting obviously i love i love shooting guns and but even bows you know if you want to watch, see some bow videos let me know that too um pretty much all of our hunting seasons right now are pretty well closed so if you want gun videos with you know shooting and stuff 
it's gonna have to be like these types of videos until about September. That's when goose season opens up. Um, so I'm pretty pumped for that. But yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see. It really does matter to me. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a lot of more fishing videos coming up, cat fishing, stuff along the lines of that, maybe some bass fishing. Um, yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this video. It means a lot to me, helping my channel grow, and uh, I appreciate every one of you guys. Also, if you want to get some of this sweet merch that I got here, Guns and Rods Outdoors, and rep my channel, um, you can get a hold of me either through my Facebook page, Guns and Rods Outdoors, or my Instagram page, also Guns and Rods Outdoors. I'll put the uh, actual you know how to spell it and everything right here in the video but i can also make i can also get some hats made and stuff as well so just let me know what you guys want down in the comments and thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one